Hey everybody, I'm Brandon Lee, the founder of Funnel Amplified. I want to put this video together to show you uh, how to use the scoring system inside of your social post. Now, what you'll want to do is go down to your social library, and it depends on if you're an admin or a user, um, whether you can just click and go straight to the library. If you're an admin, you're going to have a submenu that can take you to your library and give you other options of creating text messages or campaigns for your team. But either way, when you get to the library, your social library is really designed to help you identify social posts that are highly engaged with or highly engaging with your audience and what you're going to find up at the top and you may or may not have import features depending on what integrations you have but up at the top you have a pretty robust filter it lets you find things like only find your favorites uh, whether you were the author or someone else you can look in uh you know certain periods of time posts for different social networks, um, and of course you have your statuses. But what you can do is things like as you're scrolling through, these numbers in the top left corner are the points that have been generated for that post. Obviously, the more the points, the more engaged the post was. What, what we offer with our point system is it's one point for a like, you get five points for a comment and 10 points for a share. And then we do it this way because, you know, likes are fine. A comment is better, but if somebody shares your post and puts it in front of other people, it means they found it valuable enough that they wanted to share that message with their audience. So as you look at these posts, look, look at these numbers, if it's your post and only your post, those numbers are only from your activity. If it's a post that's shared, if you're one of our users, one of our customers that's connected to a team and they're creating a social post for you through our Amplify solution, then the number is based on total team members on your, on your team. So one of the things that you can do as you're scrolling through, um, you can take a look based on different posts, if you like some of the posts based on their numbers or things, you can click and make it one of your favorites. That way, when you come in and you're looking, like you don't have time today, you want to go find a post from, you know, 30 days or more, you can come in here and say, I want to find my favorites. I need a post today for Instagram and um, I want it, you know, within the last 90 days. And what you're going to find is obviously your post now section is always high at the top, but down below is where you'll get your results. So this is a post uh, for me for Instagram from over 90 days ago that um, I could click. And if I like it as I read it, I want to schedule it again. I can click schedule again and schedule it for myself either later today or sometime in the future. But the key thing here is making sure that you're using or knowing how to use the numbers, uh, the, the point system in order to make decisions for social posts that you'd want to use in the future. There you go. As always, if you have any questions, we want to help you. We don't want you to ever be frustrated. The bottom right corner is going to have our chat tool. Up at the very top is the question mark that gives you all access to our tutorials. And of course, you can either call us or send us messages at support at funnelamplified.com as well. All right, everybody. Hope you have a wonderful day.